Hey guys, okay, I've been asked to actually put up uh, a video about how I get my um, like uh, Blu-ray high def movies over, you know, obviously that's obviously running it off a, a hard drive uh, rather than running it off a disc. Um, so kind of show you how I, how I do that. Uh, and I was also asked to explain how I use my um, similar experience. Now I'll go through these steps, and it's been probably about eight, nine months since I last sort of set this up. So the video will chop and chop, because uh, I've got to remember what to do. Because once it's set, um, it's pretty much set, and it just goes. So and it, the only time you need to sort of, you know, reconfigure it, is if you format your hard drive and you put everything back in there, then you have to um, reconfigure it again. But I'll give you a look at this. Okay, these, if you can see there, these are actually my hard drives that are down there that you would have seen in the other video. Now with these um, like uh, high-end movies uh, with the, the picture quality, sound quality, um, I don't know if you'll ever notice, you can always get, you know, 1080p, 4K content, um, where the file size doesn't necessarily have to be that big, even if it's in 4K. But the minute you start upgrading the audio, from say just stereo sound just to channel when you start getting into when it's Dolby DDS then you have um, DDS master uh, you know all that DDS X um, Dolby Atmos the minute you start you know upgrading all your audio with the file of the movie uh, all of a sudden the actual file massively jumps it can go from two or three gig up to 20 to 30 gig. The audio plays a massive part in this. I'll give you a look at what I mean. So like if I open up a file here, I'll just have to crouch down. Okay, so there's movies uh, on this hard drive and now let's say Dawn of the Dead. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Maybe if I, even if I go into properties. You can see, that you can see it's actually 16.3 gig. That's actually reasonably small. That was, um, taken directly from a Blu-ray disc. Uh, I don't know, it could be, I don't know, Front of the 13th, which is an old one. Right, even though that's, oh no, that was the remake that was only 2009. Um, but even the file size of that is 23.9 gig. Now to do that, uh, you obviously go to say, um, where you can, download movies and you get the uncompressed blu-ray version and of course they're of that size or if you have a blu-ray disc when you put the disc in the computer you can open the disc so we just where it says open you go to the biggest file size which will be where the movie is and all you're going to do is hit copy paste it's really that simple dvd if you're going to rip a dvd was a lot more complicated you had to use like dvd shrink or something like that with a Blu-ray, it's basically it's a piece of piss. It's just copy and paste. So that's where I get all my high-end, not all the movies are high-end like that, but you know, for big movies and things like that, uh, that's where, how I get, um, you know, the higher end video and audio quality. So that's where that comes from. Okay, I'm gonna get into Cody now. Um, I do need to update it, some new movies have gone over. And I'll show you how the cinema experience works. Now remember with the cinema experience, it does not run on the new Cody's. You need an older version of Cody for that to work. Um, you can run two Cody's on a PC, but you can't open them both at the same time. Otherwise it gets confused, the computer will shut down. It, it doesn't know what it's doing. So before you open up a secondary Cody, you must make sure that the other one is closed. Otherwise you get all sorts of things you know going on. Anyway, I'll jump over to the old Katie that I'm using for to show the cinema experience. All right, uh, I've opened up Cody. Yeah, as I said, it, it does. Um, I did throw some new movies over, so it does need to be um, updated. I know I'm just, I'll be facing the screen, obviously, to see what I'm doing. So the last added stuff I did, obviously, you can see is across there. Now, just because the recent stuff that I have uh, it doesn't look like brand new movies or anything like that. It's because I get stuff that, you know, that I want. The latest, probably newest thing I would have in there, uh, I watched that the other night. It's a Schwarzenegger one uh, calling 
get Kelly Gunther. Eh, it was all right. He was in it, you know, pretty much at the end of the movie. But anyway, so what I'll do is I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go into movies and I'll update this. Right, so that'll just scan. Jeez, I don't even remember getting that movie. Huh. Anyway, <laughs> all right. So when this is um, done. Be able to I'll see what new movies that I've got before I get into the uh, cinema experience thing. I actually just got the new Spider Man movie, I just hopefully it'll be um, decent. Alright, so there's yeah, the last now, the new recent stuff I've got. That is not right. That looks like an Asian porn movie. That is certainly not right. When that happens, one on one, okay, that's an old movie. If you've never done this, you go to refresh, it finds them all, and I'm pretty sure it's a 1977 movie. It's not an Asian porn movie. So, that's it there. <laughs> and it changes. So, <laughs> bloody hell. <coughs> so yeah, the new ones I've now got, which I've only just got, obviously the new Spider-Man, the new Chucky, uh, that one with uh, Nicole Kidman in it, that's supposed to be pretty good. Um, sort of, oh, 2016 horror movie, that's a comedy. And yeah, they're the new ones I've got. Alright, now what I'm going to do is to show you how this works. I, mean, I think it goes into settings, add ons, my add ons. Program add-ons, then you go into cinema experience, you see here you got configure, shit, and that's it there. Now before you even get into this bit here, what you must do, you need to have all the files and all the videos obviously on a hard drive somewhere. Now I have all these uh, old trailers, you know, from the drive-in from the 50s, 60s, 70s, or whatever. Now, I got that from a movie pack maybe about five, six years ago. Unfortunately, that movie pack, you can't, last time I looked, you couldn't get it anymore. It didn't exist anymore. But what you can do, you find old trailers or anything that you want, if you want to do this, uh, just go to YouTube, get a YouTube downloader, and get them out of YouTube. So just look for, you know, 50s, 60s, whatever you like. It doesn't matter uh, how you want to start your movie to give it that sort of cinema feel, but I'll show you where this goes. All right, so I've gone back to my uh, hard drives in here. Okay, it's, I call it XBMC Home Theater Experience. That shows how long ago I actually got this, because it's not XBMC anymore. But anyway, so I go in there, go to my videos. Now here is where all the files are. So these ones down the bottom here, I've taken them out of folders because I don't want to use these now. I will change them, you know, when I feel like it. But say we've got uh, Atmos. So these are all the Dolby Atmos trailers. Um, audio format bumpers. Now what the bumper is, you'll see the bumper thing within the program. And if a movie is in Dolby Digital, it goes straight to that file and it picks a trailer out of the Dolby Digital. Same with Dolby True HD, DDS, THX, all that kind of stuff. So, if, so by clicking T, TDX, THX, sorry, they're all the THX um, trailers. I mean, I could probably just survive, so I don't know, if I just double click that, it might play in some program that's in the computer, maybe. Yeah, so maybe THX wise, we've seen this one before. It's an old one. That's just running in Windows Media Player. But this is where they all, you know, they're all coming from. Yeah, right. I've seen it a million times. <laughs> and the list just goes on. You have your countdowns where it's. I'll just try to play this. It'll count down to when the movie's going to start. It runs for about 47 seconds.
and basically you get the general idea there. So that picks like basically a bumper within uh, the program as well. So it, you can do whatever you like. This you may want to use for the start of when Cinema Experience starts. It's just under music. Now this is one uh, just audio track. It was the best one I could find. <laughs> I'll show you what that is soon enough. And you know when you go into a cinema or whatever and they start just having slides on the TV and it's really quiet and you have that kind of audio thing going on in the background? Well, that's about the closest I can think of what you would hear in a cinema. The same goes for everything else. You've got sequences, you've got um, theatricals, intros, trailers. Now, that you don't put anything in trailers. What happens in the program the trailers automatically hooks up to Apple trailers or whatever you pick and it plays the latest trailers that are at the cinemas or the drive-in. So, but you do need to have a file that says trailers just so it knows that there's nothing in there and, it, and in the program you send it straight to Apple trailers. Oh boy, there's a lot going on here. Okay, so this goes for all of this stuff. Yeah, trivia stuff. If you want to use that, I don't use trivia, I use something else. Um, intros, like classic intros or, you know, popcorn ads, things like, things like that. Okay. So what you do here, this, if you can see all that, that's how the program is. So, trivia slideshow, I don't want to adjust anything, so, let's see, uh, I just don't want to upset what I've got. So you got slideshow, you hit the, ah, what have I done? Slideshow, right. So, because you, you can have it on slideshow, none. A movie quiz, now that's, a, that's other stuff that you can have where it says, you know, who was the actor in Raiders of the Lost Ark or whatever, then it gives you the answer later. I don't use that. I use the slideshow, and I, duration, I run for one minute. Now, what do we got here? I think that's where it picks the, um, oh, what have I done? As I said, I haven't done this in ages, so I'm not sure what that one is. Okay, here it says, show X question slideshow for however long. Um, what I do is, I don't use the questions and answer thing. I just put in my own stupid little uh, slides, which I'll show you later. I hope I don't get in trouble for showing that because I've got some funny ones there that some people might not think is funny. But anyway, so you just set how long you want. For me, the slideshow to be up. So I've got four seconds on all of them. Okay, now, as I said about the music, play music during the slideshow. So you go in there. It's already been picked anyway. So you go into your, that, that will be the folders, and it picks it. Uh, you can adjust the volume for that song at the start i have it down on 70 percent, so it's not incredibly loud it's it's quiet well not real quiet but you know not as loud as what a movie would be i also have it set to when it's done i only run it for about a minute but it slowly fades out so that's the fading there your fade time two seconds ah so that's all that now special videos um now this would be like your let's go to the lot let's go to the lobby um, get some popcorn, all that sort of thing. Now, I've already obviously set this, so it says I want one random video, only one, because there's all different types of other type of trailers you can use, so one's enough. For me, one's enough. You can have a hundred if you like, whatever. Uh, so you go in there, and basically in here, feature intros, countdown, you, those folders I showed you, all those folders are here. So basically, yeah, you just go to file intros, you pick whatever you like, you just hit enter. Same with the music, ratings bump, bumpers, so in other words, uh, you have your different type of R rating, M rating, PG rating, all that sort of thing. So that'd be, obviously, that's where the videos are. I'll get out of here. So that's pretty much how it is. You kind of got to go through this program, set it up how you like it, and you can put anything. It doesn't matter. You, you can call a file, you know, Pickle farmers or whatever. It doesn't matter as long as when you go into it. Um, I, oh, I don't want to enable that actually. As long as when you go in there 
hang on, I'll set that to five, I only want one. When you go in there, you just go to the correct um, file, wherever it is, just to pick whatever you want. As I said, you make sure you remember what you're calling things so you know exactly where to pick it and what to pick from. See so the, the slides are there, intro videos, outro videos, trailers. Now I'll show you the trailers. So <coughs> Okay, so what, I'll go into the trailers now. Now you don't need to have, okay, we're well, obviously in there. You don't need to have trailers, as I said, it picks it up off the net. Goes straight into Apple trailers or anything like that. Now I have it set to four trailers, four uh, random videos. Uh, coming attraction, so it says, you know, coming soon to this theater, which obviously, once again, you select, you go under it, you select the folder, and you, you all you do is select that folder. So the folder is probably called Coming Attractions Outro. And it'll just randomly pick a video. You could have five to 50 videos, and it'll pick a different one each time. Um, as I said, trailer scripts. I got it set to Apple Movie Trailers. And it's also set to, to newest. So you can pick newest, oldest, repeat, I don't have repeat, I always want the newest ones, and they're the ones that I obviously want to watch. Uh, trailer mode, streaming, obviously, set it to streaming. You can change it if you want um, trailers on a hard drive, you can pick that, but obviously, why would you? So it's just on streaming. I have the audio quality set just to standard. You can change that to 1080p, 720p, whatever. Problem is because you're streaming it, uh, sometimes the trailer will start to buffer and that gets bloody annoying while you're waiting for the movie to start and you're driving everyone nuts because you've got this running and they just want to watch the movie but it makes it worse when it starts buffering so I found if I just have it set to standard when it's only a trailer it's not a movie um, no buffering happens well for me anyway it's not a problem okay you can limit your ratings so in other words if you don't want any R-rated content running um, any trailers that are R-rated, uh, you can change that. Of course, I have mine turned off. Um, I don't need to, for whatever reason, limit it to a G rating or a PG rating. So that's pretty much how all that works with the um, the trailers. You've got pre feature presentations. Once again, folder that says feature presentation, a trailer will come up for that. You have a 3D movie option, which I don't use. Home automation that I don't use either. You can actually activate this to drop your screen, drop your lights, close your curtains. Uh, it all runs out of this um, experience. So that's pretty much it for Cinema Experience. As I said, it only works, I think this is um, Kodi 15.12, something or other like that. When it gets into Kodi 16 and 17, they took this out and they replaced it with something that was. I mean, if this seemed confusing, the new one they've got was so damn confusing, I couldn't figure it out. So that's why I went back to an old Cody, just so I could run, look, basically that's it, so I could run this, that's the only reason. Okay, so I will show you, which could get, some of you guys might have a crack at me about this. All right, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how it all works. You might've seen it in the other video, but I'll show you the whole, the whole lot here. Um, now with the slides and the first trailer that it plays, uh, please find the comedic side to it. Um, I've picked my own slides and the first trailer to, to run. Okay, they are incredibly racist. They are incredibly sexist. I find them funny. My mates find them funny. You can put in whatever you like. This is what I've done because, well, me and my mates, we're, we're dickheads. So, and we find it funny. But just so you get an idea how the thing runs, you'll see the trailers and the, the, that song all of a sudden start, you know, when the cinema experience starts. And it'll run for the time of the, the slides. So I'll go into cinema experience. Please don't have a go at me about this. This is a, a personal thing that I find funny. I so said you can pick whatever you like if you want to do this. Uh, and put your own slides in however you want. All right, let's have a, a look. So when the screen's down and it starts, lights are off, this is pretty much how it starts.
And so what will happen now is the audio will actually fade out, and that's the end of the slides. Then it will go into probably some sort of racist trailer, whatever it picks by itself. personality pickle packed in a jar for the freshest flavor served cold in a sack for you to savor so dainty to eat no muss no fuss an ideal snack for all of us crisp tender and tasty with a bit of spice buy one now taste how nice snack bar clerks will knock themselves silly speeding your order for a real chili dilly Last one now before it will then connect onto Apple trailers. I think, yes. And it'll run through probably four trailers that are about to hit the cinemas from here on. I was a good kid, a strong kid. I'll never be perfect enough for you. I mean, you're stressing the boy out. I lost my way. I'm done. I'm not going to help you anymore until you want to help yourself. Hey, Mom, I didn't want to bring you into this. I just had to go away for a few days. If you happen to find well, this okay. stuff boring, just, oh, just skip on. But I'll just let it run so you can see how long it goes on with the way I set it up. If you want to do it the same way yourself. Big storm coming in later this afternoon. This is the craziest winter I've seen in years. Missing persons report. The process will probably take about a day or two. I can't wait a day or two. He is out there. At this point, audio wise, what the amp's doing, it's just pretty much running it in like stereo, but I changed the amp to my own setting where it'll actually run through most of the speakers, so it's not just blasting just through the two fronts and actually spreads it out, but I make that change myself. But this is only giving it off in uh, two channels. Unless you want to go for the high end streaming, it may go into the surround. But as I said, you get a little buffering. So you just adjust the end to however you like it. Um, so it's like blasting through, through the just two front speakers. If you like that, keep it like that. It's up to you. I don't think I have too much time. Now this time Any 
escape California. I want to go to the East Coast. I want to go where culture is, like How New York, or at least Connecticut or New Hampshire, where writers live in the world. Get into those schools anyway. Mom, you should just go to City College. You know, with your work ethic, just go to City College and then to jail, and then back to City College, and then maybe you'd learn to pull yourself up and not expect everybody to do everything. <laughs> Lady Bird, is that your given name? Yeah. Why is it in quotes? I gave it to myself. It's given to me by me. Lady Bird always says that she lives on the wrong side of the tracks, but I always thought that that was like a metaphor. But there are actual train tracks. What she do is very baller. It's very anarchist. Put the magazine back! <laughs> She has a big heart here, Mom. She's warm, but she's also kind of scary. You can't be scary and warm. I think you can. Your mom is. So, you're not interested in any Catholic colleges? No way. I want schools like Yale, but not Yale because I probably couldn't get in. <laughs> you definitely couldn't get in. Does Mom hate me? If you're tired, we can sit down. I'm not tired. You're dragging your feet. You are so infuriated. Okay, notice uh, so far there has been oh, no buffering at all. Love it. We all have such. As I said, that's why uh, I just said the stand. No way, there's no buffering. Although at this point, when this trailer, this movie looks like a, like a bit of a snore, a snooze fest. Anyway, doesn't mean that I'll watch it. Just just watch the latest to watch you. So much on special sex in your life. We're afraid that we will never escape our past. Whatever we give you, it's never enough. It's never it enough. It is enough. We're afraid of what the future will bring. We're afraid we won't be loved. You can't do anything unless you're the center of attention. We won't be liked. No, you know your mom's tips that are totally fake. She made one bad decision in 19. Two bad decisions. And we won't be best version of yourself that you could be. What if this is the best version? What I'd really like is to be on Math Olympiad. But math isn't something you're terribly strong in. That we know of yet. Well, there's one that I'll rush straight out and see, for sure, just like everybody else. Ugh. I was born in 2025, but I wish I'd grown up in the 1980s, like all my heroes. I live here in Columbus, Ohio. In 2045, it's still ranked the fastest growing city on Earth, but it sure doesn't seem like it when you live in the stacks. They called our generation the missing millions. Missing not because we went anywhere. There's nowhere left to go. Nowhere except the oasis. place that feels like I mean anything. A world where the limits of reality are your own imagination.
Okay, and finally we actually get to the final trailers that are picked for. So let's say this one's an improvement of what's coming. I thought you might be able to help me with the case. Any idea where I could find him? Your police plan on taking me in. I would much prefer that to the alternative. Civilization was built off the back of slaves. Replicants are the future, but I can only make so many. I have the luck, and he has the key. I think you found him. That's not possible. If this gets out, we've bought ourselves a war. You're a cop. I did your job once. Things were simpler then. What do you want? I want to ask you some questions. What happened? I covered my tracks. Scrambled the records. We were being hunted. By who? I know you're here. Now what pain is yet? We will learn. I can tell you. This breaks the world. We have to go. I'm coming with you. The future of the species is finally on Earth. Okay, so that's it for the trailers. Now on with the show. Go, that's an old one. Okay, what are we doing now? Okay, it must be picking up whatever audio format the movie is in. I'm assuming. I don't know why there's no uh, audio. Ah, this idiot may said it's a Nero 6. Okay, obviously this one's just in Dolby. That's a bit weird. Sometimes it gets it mixed up. Because this movie is certainly not just in Dolby. It's, uh, I think it's in At Atmos. I think I got mixed up. No, it must be a DDS. surround sound it sounds awesome one more oh no that's it we'll see the movie now the movie starts okay well that's it that's how the um, cinema experience Works, it's how it runs. 
<laughs> Weird. That looks like the first Chucky movie. They're starting at the same. I haven't seen this yet. As you can see, I only just got this. So the next couple of nights or whatever, I might check this out. Uh, I hope this helped in any way. Uh, any questions, please ask. Not, no problems. I'll answer as best as I can. So I'm not real 100% cluey on this stuff. Normally I sit down and I screw with it. Um, sometimes I get it wrong and I have to go back and redo it again. Like, I think last time I had to put this back together, it took me, I think it took me an hour or two because I, I kept screwing up the slideshows and all that. But once you get it right, it runs great if you like this sort of thing. Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.